Welcome back to uh, the dashboard tutorial for the Honda Transalt 2023. This tutorial is uh, for the lazy ones, which are too lazy to read the instruction manual. So this video is for you and for me also to remember some of the settings of this dashboard for my bike. As you can see, we have plenty of informations uh, displayed on the dashboard. We'll uh, check them out and uh, go in detail for each single option. As you can see, this is uh, one of the dashboards uh, which we can choose uh, from the beginning. We have the uh, riding modes. Now we are on the gravel. We have the uh, gear. We are on the neutral and plenty of information regarding the trip, regarding trip A, for example, regarding the average fuel consumption, the elapsed time, the date also, trip B also with the, its information plus the voltage. All these informations, we will be able to change them later. I will show you uh, in the display settings. This is the instant fuel consumption, uh, trip reset and so on. Plenty of options. Now we have 860 kilometers, the total amount of kilometers. And also the average fuel consumption for this 860 kilometers. The date, the hour, the engine temperature, which you can see displayed on the top right side of the display. We have 62 Celsius at the moment. And also the riding modes with different power settings, engine brake settings, traction control and ABS on and off. As you can see here, we, uh, we will be able to change them and to navigate through them. But let's start first with the informations which we can see for each single setting. First of all, let's check out the display buttons and the buttons which we will operate from the handlebar. We have the function button, we have the riding mode button and also we have the selection uh, buttons which are actually up, down, left and right. By holding the selection button to the right side, we will be able to enter in the menu. And here we have different settings, different functions, function, display, general and service. Let's navigate through all these settings. Okay, so we have here the riding mode to access uh, and go more in depth of this uh, setting. We have to press right. And here we can check out all these parameters like engine power which is uh, one out of four engine brake one out of three traction control which is uh, actually has uh, you see now it's uh, zero one two three four five traction control ABS which will uh, and can be turned off but I will show it uh, later so traction control, engine brake and power. These are my user mode settings which uh, I have now. To go back, press left the function button. Then we go to the quick shifter which uh, you already saw it. Uh, you can also adjust it. Uh, please check out my quick shifter installation uh, tutorial and then uh, I will explain why I put it to the hard mode because uh, the quick shifter can be off, soft, medium and hard. On the dealer's recommendation, uh, I'm uh, trusting his experience, he recommended to leave it at hard. Also for the downshifting, upshifting, downshifting, the same, you can turn it off and then uh, soft, medium and hard. Let's go back. Now we have the shift point. This is uh, really interesting stuff, especially now when I'm on uh, still on the braking engine period. I uh, I put it on. You can also turn it off, and on the display uh, it will blink a uh, red um, blink, and uh, it will show you when to change the rev, when the shift point should uh, take place. I put it at 5,000 uh, RPMs just to remind me that uh, I'm still on a braking uh, engine period. Let's go back. Here we have the self-cancellation self uh, turn signals, which I put it on uh, in the past. Uh, if you remember, we had to pay for, um, for uh, hardware that uh, was able to do that, to self-cancel the, the signals. 
this bike has uh, this function by default. Here it's uh, Trip A Auto Reset. This helps you auto reset your trip settings. Here is the Honda Security immo Immobilizer System, which uh, helps protect our bikes. Also on the display, a lot of settings, display type. We just uh, can change and choose the display type according to our preferences. I prefer the Type 4. I really like it. Let's go back. And also you can change the brightness. I leave it in auto. I think it does a really good job. You have uh, also different levels of brightness. I think auto it's uh, quite good. Also background. You are able to change the background. I put it on a metallic. I really like it. We have auto, black, white. I leave it metallic. Favorite information. And here on the favorite information is quite a lot, a lot to play with. Here, these are the informations which uh, are displayed directly on the dashboard and we can change the parameters as we like. So, you know, we have a lot of, lot of parameters which you can change. I'm not gonna insist here because here it's uh, your game. You will choose, uh, you will choose your own parameters. I didn't uh, even bother uh, staying on this menu for so long. I need the voltage, the fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, date, the total amount of kilometers and basically that's it. No temperature gauge indicator, unfortunately. All these settings, also many display settings, but no freaking temperature indicator for the new Transalp. This is uh, quite a pity. There are much cheaper bikes, uh, entry-level bikes that uh, have this function, but no, Transalp doesn't have the outside temperature indicator, unfortunately. And here we have the uh, classic general parameters like date and time, unit, language, uh, restore default, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth pairing reset. This uh, will be done. Uh, will be done uh, when we are gonna mount when we're gonna connect our navigation our phone and here in service you have maintenance here we can actually uh, put the maintenance uh, schedule by kilometers and date now for example I need to make it at 1000 let's set it up date I don't know when oil change also at 1000 1000 kilometers and basically I set up my parameters here we have the equipment which uh, can be this is the accessory extra equipment which can be um, which can be initialized from this menu the quick shifter we already did so uh, there's no there's no uh, nothing to do at the moment we have the grip heater and the fog lights, which uh, can be initiated from this menu. All right, here is the uh, quick shifter initialized, which was already done. So uh, actually, there is no nothing to do here. The DTC uh, displays uh, eventual errors, uh, error codes, which uh, are appearing. Uh, hopefully not, but can be. And here is the page where you will find the error codes for the uh, Transalp. And this is the uh, radio frequency uh, regulations displayed here on the last, on the last uh, setting. Let's go back. All right, now let's go through the main menu and try to navigate through the riding modes. Let's check them out. To change the riding modes, of course, it's very simple. You need to press the mode button, which is located here on the left side of the handlebar console. We have the standard mode, which actually puts the power to three out of four. Then the engine brake to three out of four, traction control to three out of five, because there are five settings for the traction control. And ABS puts it, uh, of course, to the max, which is uh, 2. Then uh, we press again the mode button and we go to the rain mode, which uh, 
puts the lowest amount of power, 1 out of 4, engine brake it's set up to 3 out of 4, traction control 5 out of 5, it's the maximum and of course the ABS it's on. Then the gravel road, uh, one of the most expected modes. We have the power uh, to the half, it's two out of four, engine brake to the max, traction control at uh, four out of five, and the ABS, uh, it's off-road. You can also turn off the ABS for the rear, but only from the user mode. And here is the user mode. We have, uh, this is my uh, setting, which I put for the moment. To change the levels inside the user mode, you have to press the mode button for 2-3 uh, seconds. And then we can change, as you can see, the power. Power mode, let's leave it at 1. Engine brake, let's leave it at 1. Traction control max. And now comes the ABS. And to deactivate the ABS, uh, while the setting is at 1, so we put it at 1, you have to press the up selection button to keep it and hold it. And you have this menu, cancel ABS. And of course you're gonna choose yes, if you would like to go more off-road. And now the ABS is off. One more time, let's uh, press the up selection button. And you have this menu and to select it just uh, right click to the selection button and now you have the off for the ABS. After you cancel the ABS you will see on the bottom right of the display you will see that the ABS uh, it's uh, deactivated only for the rear wheel. The front wheel still, still have uh, ABS on but on its lower power. So you can uh, check out the sign on the bottom uh, right side of the dashboard which says uh, that the ABS uh, it's only for the rear. You have uh, an arrow which indicates uh, the rear and uh, the ABS sign it's uh, actually stretched with a line. This is how you deactivate the ABS for the rear wheel and uh, somehow prepare your bike uh, for gravel or off-road riding. And now uh, to exit uh, this menu, you have to press and keep holding the menu button. And now uh, it doesn't blink uh, the setting which you've changed. And uh, we can uh, navigate again to the riding modes. Just keep in mind that uh, the ABS will be on again if you stop the bike and uh, turn the ignition on once again. And as you can see, now we have the ABS on again at its uh, minimum power. So you need to make this uh, adjustment, the ABS on and off adjustment, each time you're stopping the bike, each time you uh, have the ignition uh, off, uh, the ABS setting, the ABS off setting, it's uh, not staying. So you need to uh, make it one more time this is it so yeah you need to make it one more time in order to deactivate it and you have this uh, this this over here this sign which i already showed you if you turn off the bike and turn on the bike the abs will be on for both wheels also the abs setting uh, if you would like to turn it off You can, you can go here, let's turn it on, we turn it on, and then to turn it off, exit the mode, change the riding mode, if you change the riding mode to sport for example, and let's go to user, if we go to user, the ABS it's already on at its lowest power. So even when you change the user mode, when you change the riding mode, so even when you change the riding modes uh, from the user mode with the ABS off, uh, then the ABS will be on again. Now let's go back to the user mode and try to deactivate the traction control. Here I have uh, better news for you. The traction control uh, off will stay off. 
even if you switch to other uh, riding modes. So let's go uh, into the user mode to traction control. To deactivate it, just go on the minimum level and the same as the ABS, you press the uh, up selection button, keep it, hold it. And now, as you can see, uh, we have the traction control off. Also, uh, we have here displayed the off, traction control off, and the traction control blinks, and we have just uh, nothing selected over there. And to activate it, you need to press uh, one more time the up selection button, and then uh, it will be again active with your preferred uh, setting. So off, press the up button for the off, and then again the up button to go and make the circle of the traction control uh, settings. We have five traction control uh, settings. Off. So let's set up our bike for maximum off-road capabilities. Traction control off. ABS, let's put it off. Okay, ABS off. And now we have, as we can see, everything is blinking. We have uh, traction control off. We have ABS for the rear off. And uh, now we can uh, have some fun on the gravel. Let's uh, switch off the traction control and see if we have it, if we have it, uh, if we restart the bike. So now we have uh, traction control off. Let's uh, turn the bike one more time and check it out. No, everything was reset to the maximum traction control. So make sure if you turn off the bike, you need to you need to take off again one more time the traction control for the off-road. So ABS traction control will be on if you restart your bike. Traction control stays off if you're changing the riding modes uh, in comparison with the ABS off. But if you turn uh, off the bike, uh, then the traction control will be at maximum power. Now let's check it out. Uh, what kind of informations do we actually uh, have for the bike? The ones which we can actually choose. Display. Favorite information. And here we have the following. The total amount of kilometers blank, which means you can actually leave it blank. If you're, if you don't want any information, leave it blank. Reserve fuel consumption, reset trip, elapsed time, average speed. Oh, average speed, uh, quite nice. This one, I think I'm gonna have it myself. Average fuel consumption already have it. Fuel consumption, shift point, date, voltage, grip angle. Oh, nice. Grip angle. This is a nice info. Maybe we can choose it. Rev, elapsed time, average speed, average consumption, instant consumption, trip B, trip A average consumption and so on. So I think a few parameters I'm gonna change. To reset all the selected parameters from the bottom of the dashboard you need to press and hold the function button from the console of the handlebar. And you will be able to reset all these functions. After pressing the function button and keep it holding you need to also press the up selection button in order to reset all these parameters from the bottom of the dashboard. Thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial. See you next time.